Are you sick and tired of doing the same old Friday night activities? We show you some new fun that recently moved into State College. It's an experience that they've never even heard of. So I think we get really excited about it because people just receive it so well here. Uh, they just love it. It's something different. It's something different to do. Instead of going to a happy hour or a movie for a date night, you're coming here and you're really interacting with each other. Something that's really engaging to people. I mean, it, the engagement is the whole thing with us, is bringing people together. So you're meeting new people and taking yourself out of that technology elements of movies and YouTube and Google and all that stuff and your cell phone. Interacting and engaging with each other, doing what? Things like stealing the Mona Lisa or trying to save the world from a widespread virus. You can do both and soon more at IQ Escape. IQ is the first escape room to open in State College. I think we love State College so much because it's the first escape room here. So people really get excited about something so new. Escape rooms are physical adventure games in which players solve a series of puzzles using clues, hints, and strategies to complete a task. But IQ Escape isn't your standard escape room. A lot of times the other escape rooms, it's a lot of lock and key combination. So you're always thinking in the same manner. Here, um, yes, we do have some combinations, but it's not all combinations. It's, that's not all you're trying to figure out. There's other puzzles and different ways of thinking that we try to create. That inspiration for their new way of thinking in their games came from watching movies, reading books, even just walking into a store. I just see that blank stare go over, and I know I've lost him for the rest of the night. He'll just get this crazy idea and be like, this is what we can do with it. But to them, they want more than just to provide temporary entertainment. Our goal, and if we succeed, is to for you to forget that you're even playing a game. You're just accomplishing a seemingly you know, real life objective. So how do they do that? One way is making everything as accurate as possible. From the physical setup to the hints given, everything is researched. We're sticklers for authenticity. You know what I mean? In, in Stealing Mona, the backstory is that uh, Dominic Perugio hired you to steal the Mona Lisa. Well, in 1911, Vincenzo actually did steal the Mona Lisa. If it's a game that's a historical in nature, we do our homework. In Mona, you know, every painting down to the centimeter is a replica. We color match the paint on the wall. The cash register didn't come out until, I think, uh, like seven years after the setting of the game. So I said, can't use it. They even brought in a woman from the CDC to come and review narratives for their game Contagion to make sure everything was correct. And though kids of all ages can come and try to work their way through the puzzles, they said they don't want people to think it's just a children's game because they actually designed it for adults. Younger kids love it, but the older demographic, uh, ourselves and up, need to realize that's who it's designed for. It's not, it's not a game. It's not, it's not virtual reality. It, it's not a video game. It's not a computer game. The best maybe description is it's not, it's not 3D, it's, it's real D. And they are adding to that real D collection with the addition of a new game called Time Shift where the players will have to go back in time to the Battle of Gettysburg to stop people from using stolen futuristic weapons, or the South wins the Civil War. Time shift could open as soon as the end of July, although it was up for debate. Either by the end of July or the end of uh, the summer uh, is, our, our, is our main target. End once of July. Summer, <laughs> end of summer. Uh, like, I'm, I'm end of summer. August 1st. <laughs> Along with the addition of the new game, they hope to open a daytime summer camp next year so kids can come and learn about a variety of skills that all go into making one escape room. You definitely have to trick kids to learn nowadays or make them think that they're having fun while they're learning. Um, and I think escape rooms do do that. Designing them um, with the technology that we have and the, and the creativity and things of that nature and pushing that all together for them, to them it's not learning, it is what can I make. For more information, visit their website at statecollege.iqescape.com.